Welcome to Immigration 101. I'm JP Dominguez. The Pope versus Trump sounds like a crazy bad dream, doesn't it? So everyone had an opinion about the so-called beef between the Pope and the GOP presidential nominee candidate Donald Trump. Seriously though, people from all over on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, were chiming in about whether or not Donald Trump was a Christian. Y dígame, JP, ¿por qué ese pelo de elote se peleó con el Papa? Respuesta. While well, the Pope was visiting Mexico last week, he was quoted as saying, Una persona que... A person that only thinks to rebuild walls, wherever they may be, instead of building bridges, is not Christian. Trump's response. For a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. Trump also responded by calling the Pope a pawn of the Mexican government and that the Mexican government should be ashamed of themselves. They're using the Pope as a pawn and they should be ashamed of themselves. That's the Mexican government. Trump, you're just not that special. In a previous speech a year ago, in a completely different country, the Pope was heard saying the same exact thing. Don't believe me? Check out this video with the Pope in St. Peter's Square. Where there's a wall, there's a closure of hearts. We need bridges, not walls. Servono ponti, non muri. It is clear that the Pope's intention was not to question whether Trump was a Christian or not. Frankly, I am completely serious about this. Whether Trump is a Christian or not is between him and God. However, people all over social media started questioning Trump's Christian faith by taking a look into Trump's past, such as the fact that Trump was divorced three times, how Trump has publicly humiliated someone who is physically disabled. And then there was that one time when Trump was given a speech and quoted scripture. Two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, 317. That's the whole ball game. One thing is certain. The way in which Trump and other GOP presidential nominee candidates have chosen to frame this immigration reform debate has not been rooted or centered on Christian principles. Christianity's core values are centered around love. One, love for God. Two, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Mark 12, 31. Forgiveness. Mark 11, 25. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you for your sins. How could it be that a party that prides itself on its Christian values produces actions such as this? <laughs> and that these actions are publicly supported by these presidential nominees during their rallies. Smiling, laughing, like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Surely actions such as these can't be representative of everyone in the GOP voting bloc. Get out of my country. Get out. This is not my, about I'm you. A, I'm a U.S. citizen too. What? The question is, where are you? And when will you speak up? This was supposed to be the elections things change for the GOP. Oh, what a difference a few months makes. Thank you for watching Immigration 101. Make sure to leave me some comments in the comment section below. Let me know how you guys feel about the situation. Let me know what you think about the future of the GOP. If you want to follow me, you can follow me on Facebook, JP Dominguez, Instagram, JP Dominguez, on Twitter, JPM Dominguez. Y para todos los haters.